Hey guys, I am here with a two week grocery haul for y'all. I will link the, well, I will put the meal plan down below, not link it. I will write it out for y'all. Be mindful that we still do have to make a Sam's Club trip, but this is two weeks worth of meals. Um, we usually do two nights with leftovers and then just eggs, toast, bacon, whatever for breakfast and lunch is just kind of a grab and get what you want. So dinners is only really the only structured thing that we have in our family. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what we're gonna have for dinner for the next two weeks. So I picked up some Idaho and mashed potatoes, the buttery home style and the roasted garlic. We normally get the cups, but this was just cheaper to get. So I got the bags. These are a good quick lunch or a dinner if Mason can't have what we're eating. He'll eat mashed potatoes or something like that. So I picked up those. Picked up five boxes of macaroni, um, the Kraft macaroni and cheese, the spirals. The kids really like these for a quick lunch or um, for like a dinner if they don't eat what I'm making. Um, and I had one box left, so I picked up five because we normally go through two boxes at a time. So that's three lunches or whatever there. Picked up some Bertoli tomato and basil flavored pasta sauce. Um, this is for a lasagna that I'm going to make, a three ingredient lasagna. Picked up another pack of drink mix. This one is aspartame free. It's the great value sweet tea. And I'm going to show you the back in case you want to see the ingredients. It does have aspartame. Sorry, I missed that, but it's okay. I'll still drink it. So it's not aspartame free. Then I picked up some Trix Minis for breakfast or a snack or whatever. And great value fruit spins that taste just like Fruit Loops. And they taste really good. And we went through a whole box, so I picked up another one. So the next thing we picked up were bread items. I picked up a loaf of bread. The lady that was bagging the stuff put all this bread together and so my bread got smashed. Some flour tortillas for enchiladas. And this was, uh, well, I've seen it before, but I've never tried it. So I picked it up to try. It's the Cinnabon Bakery inspired cinnamon bread with cinnamon first. So you just put butter on it and I guess toast it. So it looks really good. I love cinnamon toast. So Thought we would try that. And then I really like these variety cakes that Walmart sells. They're not the best for you, but sometimes I'll have this after dinner or a quick breakfast and I haven't had it in like a year or two. So I picked up a pack of these. I got the lemon, banana nut, and vanilla. I used to like the one that had the lemon, vanilla, and blueberry, but it doesn't look like they sell that anymore because I looked everywhere. So we just ended up with the banana nut one. All right, I picked up an a Starbucks iced coffee espresso, the cafe mocha for coffee. I still have some cold coffee left, but I wanted to go ahead and pick up another one. Some great value original dairy whipped topping. It's just whipped cream. Um, uh, Hayden, oh, everybody likes that. I really like it too, but the boys prefer it more and Nicholas. Some Fritos for Frito pie goldfish for snack red potatoes we're gonna do a shrimp corn and potato bowl in the house um just for dinner one night and we had the corn on the cob the shrimp and we had the seasoning so all i had to do was pick up the red potatoes and then some cream cheese for our recipe right then we got a bunch of cheeses i got some mozzarella cheese for lasagna then this one pound blend uh, fiesta blend for whatever else needs cheese um, and everybody can just pick from what they want some sliced mild cheddar for my grilled cheese i don't like um american cheese so the kids always want grilled cheeses for lunch and that's one of our things that we do very often or a quick dinner um, and i don't need american cheese so i get my own mild cheddar and then i got everybody else american cheese but this time i got it's um in package like individually wrapped and then they didn't have my regular butter blue bonnet mason is eating some fruit loops him a little piece went down the wrong pipe so i had to fix that but they didn't have my blue bonnet butter so i picked up just um a pack each of the great value salted butter sticks 
There's two in each, and it was like $1.97 per pack. And then Mason and I have really been enjoying these yogurts. Um, we got frozen the last time, but we really like the cotton candy. So I picked up another pack. It's got cotton candy and wild berry. We still have some of the strawberries left from the other pack, but I thought we would try the wild berry and cotton candy this time. I picked up a bag of frozen great value cheese ravioli. They had a bigger bag, but I just got the 25 ounce um, because that's what I needed. Actually, I needed 32, but it's okay. No, I think it's 25 I needed. 25 of pasta sauce and 25 of ravioli for lasagna. So, this is a three-ingredient three lasagna. So, I'm going to be doing a video on this and be on the lookout for that because this is one of the recipes, if it turns out good, that will be in my cookbook. Um, the next thing is Sister Schubert's dinner yeast rolls just to go on the side with like lasagna and things like that. So I picked up a 10 count of those peas and carrots because I'm planning to do a chicken fried rice. That'll also be a video coming up for y'all and a recipe that will be in the cookbook. Um, just a 20 pack of oatmeal. It's got six strawberry and cream, six peaches and cream. Four blueberries and cream and four bananas and cream. I don't care for oatmeal too much, but I will eat the fruit oatmeal. And then for the kids for breakfast or a dinner or whatever for Mason. So, picked that up. And then some beef broth for stew meat and rice and gravy in the crock pot, which will be a recipe for y'all as well. Picked up this huge thing of Great Value Tropical Punch. It was only six dollars something and some change um and it's three pounds and 15 ounces and basically it's just a big either you can make kool-aid with it or you can use it in a bottle of water so i thought my kids would like it and this is one that has real sugar in it so i won't be allergic to it then i picked up a can of chili with no beans for frito pie taco seasoning mix to have in the cabinet because I'm tired of buying the little bitty packs. This was under $3. I'll try and list prices if I can find them on the screen when I'm editing it. Uh, green onion, an onion, and some white sliced mushrooms. I needed um, the button mushrooms, but this will work fine because they didn't have what I needed. Picked up some baby food. I just like to have these on hand in case Mason isn't wanting, you know, table food um and then sometimes it's just easier to have some cans of baby food ready to go so i got two of the beech nut naturals pear beech nut organic pumpkin gerber banana i got a gerber butternut squash and a gerber sweet potato gerber i mean not gerber yeah this is gerber natural for baby corn and then beech nut naturals apple and blackberries and then picked up two of these beech nut oatmeals. These are the plain ones that I put into his bottle some, some days or sometimes when he eats, usually once or twice a day. And then these are oatmeals that he eats off of a spoon. They're just, he really likes these, but we go through these pretty quickly, these pretty quickly and these as well. So I figured I used to put the flavored ones in his bottle. So I thought I would put the regular ones in his bottles and have these and then he can have like the packets of oatmeal once we run out of this. So this is just the Gerber cereal for baby power blend, the um, oatmeal lentil, peach and apple, and then the oatmeal banana and strawberry. So I picked those up for him. He really likes those. I got seven cans of the Similac soy ice meal and I'll explain that to you in a second. Seven cans is what we are doing the max for the month now um, because Mason has taken so much table food, baby food, and now he's on a little bit of whole milk. We are cutting back on the bottles. So that's why I only got seven cans compared to the 10 cans that I normally get, which I mean, it's not that big of a decrease, but um, that's how we're doing that because he's drinking whole milk and he's drinking or eating yogurts and things like that. He's tolerating things very well. And then also juice. So I don't feel that he needs formula every time he wants a bottle, if that makes sense. He can have whole milk or well, about 1% milk, not whole milk. Um, and then juice. So, yep. 
And I'm drinking the sweet tea mix that I got. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but I will drink them. I, I picked up some Purdue, like, just chicken thin slice breast. I needed the tenderloins, but I didn't realize I grabbed the breast, which is fine. Um, but the free range was cheaper than just the regular Tyson chicken today. So that's why I got free range. John Morrill hickory smoked bacon. We still have one pack in the freezer, but I do this pretty often for breakfast. So we'll have bacon once a week while Nick is home with our breakfast. And then the stew meat for the recipe and ground beef. I picked up a can of Rotel. It's the diced tomatoes and green chilies for a recipe. A thing of sweet tea, the gold peak. It's my favorite and I just opened my last bottle so I picked up one more. Pedialyte, the blue uh, berry or what is this? Yeah, blue raspberry. Picked up two of like the kid juices for babies and there's pear juice, strawberry kiwi. Mason's not a fan of apple but thought he might would like those so I picked those up for him and then some strawberry applesauce because he ate all of his applesauce.